Tea guys. <laughs> yeah, Cheese on mine too. Six, five, four, three, two. guys so we're on stage zero a four or five k run just around the island before we get in the kayaks and off to the isle of Staffa Out the paddle just before the sun sets. Nice quick transition. <clears throat> uh, now we're probably in, we were sick coming off the paddle, I think, weren't we? Uh, now, yeah, we skipped a couple of people in transition. Um, I don't know if you're there. Checkpoint four, done. And some rises will be over there somewhere. But first, drop down there, head all the way up to Ben Moore. Probably that big one there. And then back across over that way. Then we're going to get in the kayaks, which won't be filmed as usual cross back over there onto the mainland join that mainland there mountain bike round and then somewhere quick update 12 hours in and somehow we find ourselves in front of the race I think I know that how, how that happened but, uh, Yeah, we had a couple of good route choices moving along. I had a little bit of a, struggled a bit on some of the hills, but we shared some of the weight. Um, so yeah, I guess we just keep going and see how it turns out. So we're on a nice road, a welcome break from whatever we just walked down, ankle sapping, horror. Um, we still, you can't see it, it's too dark, but there's a big mountain to go up, so probably about another five hours or so. Um, and there's kind of three teams, that are all kind of next to each other at the front. Um, but still early days, so we'll see how it goes.
good morning Monday Monday morning um, 5.45 in the morning the sun's been up for about half an hour final climb it's the last of the trek checkpoints we've come from over there somewhere uh, in front of us we think our endurance lie and Sweke, just over the brow of the hill here. Endurance Life did a great route choice. Come around the side of that rather than over the top of it. Uh, we thought it'd be a bit too rough, but they obviously found a way through in the dark. Uh, oh, there's the other team over there. So, just need to get this last checkpoint, drop down to the coast. There's a castle over there, an old castle that we're getting in and parking to the mainland. So we're going along the ridge to the bars and then there's a track tire. Sweet. Okay, keep moving. Four. Uh, team captain, if yep. you go round to my van, Izzy will sign you in. Once you've been signed in, you can then start touching kits and prepping. Yeah. Yep. Made it on the bike, finish a kayak, um, an hour or so into the bike leg now. We're going to go around this peninsula, lovely views. A bit of hike bike, a bit of tracks like this, I think. Six hours, they say. And then there's going to be a fourth stop of three to six hours at the next checkpoint. So we'll get some sleep before the next trip. What's this section called? Yeah. Take your bike for a walk. path, it wasn't a path, until we realised we needed a different route choice. So uh, a couple of teams caught us throughout that section. Uh, I think it's the Denmark or the Danish team. So due to some logistical reasons, we have a, everyone's got a six hour enforced transition just where we were. We managed to get about four hours sleep. So 
everyone in the field have had the same. So nicely refreshed. Just up about one o'clock in the morning now. Heading up into the hills. And there's a couple of teams here. Might be able to see it just in front of us. I think we had a slicker leaving transition. So those there were 10 and 20 minutes ahead of us. We've just caught them up again, which is good. earlier than we planned to but at least now we're on this fast easy track um, and not as rough as it was up there um, probably taking a bit longer than we planned and then we're on to the third kayak uh, so um, not, not looking forward to that too much but uh, another leg ticked off Yeah, paddle number three done. Luckily for us, for everyone, the uh, like last bit of it was cancelled or short course, so we didn't have to go in the like open sea and uh, get washed up against the cliffs. So we now have to run. We always walk um, kind of over the headland uh, to transition to get our bikes. Um, and on to the big, that I think it's I think it's the longest mountain bike section, um, which would take us through the day into the night, probably. Well, definitely. So it's what's two uh, quarter quarter to three. Um, so yeah, we'll see how long that takes us.
and cheese. That's exhausting. Yeah. That was exhausting. So last hour of daylight. Last hour of daylight, yeah. If that the sun's going down over there. We're going up this right, thing. Right. Uh what's that? Anyone's guess. Busy day on the bend today. Uh, then down this ridge, drop over the end of that, stream down, 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 and then there's a the peak behind us. We've just got to finish by going over these. And the trekking done. Easy. Here's our final peak yep. before we drop down and where we came from, over there somewhere. Oh. I guess we dropped down the back of that. Yep. So there's the end of the trek. So we can get ourselves down here. If you look closely, there's a lot of deer. I'm suddenly pretty tired. Hopefully it's just a temporary thing because we're finishing the trek, the last trek. Um, and it just drags on a little bit. Um, maybe I'm thinking about the finish too soon. Still too long legs to go. Um, We'll decide when to sleep because you'll 
won't have to do it otherwise, I don't think. Um, this is Jimbo Gabby. Oh, no, this is a pot. Oh yeah, but we're doing a bit of variety with that. We're now cycling back, well, there we're cycling to the kayak transition. We've just done the orienteering. We are just over an hour, we were just over an hour behind the leaders, um, leaving orienteering, according to the, like, the time sheet. <laughs> we didn't see them. Um, we must have at least an hour and then anyone behind us because no one was there before we left. Um, so, Good place to be in, can't complain. Just um, kind of a long road section now, undulating through these lovely woods. It's uh, weather is not as nice today, it's drizzling, a bit colder. We're just trying to keep our spirits up and then just uh, keep moving. We're not moving super fast, but as long as we just keep steady away. I think we'll be okay. So the big question is, is the kayak stage happening or will we cycle back to the finish or something else? It felt earlier like it was a bit too windy. We don't know until you're at the coast, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's probably going to define the race for a lot of people, I think. If it is on, it's not going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a slog to the end. Uh, We'll see how it goes. Catch you later. Uh, so yeah, kayak's cancelled by the way. So um, we're now just a sprint finish for the end. Right, see you soon. <laughs>